What's going on everyone? It's Kelly here and in this video in the intro I'm not gonna tell you where we are in the comments below. I want you guys to guess where we are. We got CJ from so Nordic. Guys. We got first mate Austin on board. From Rife. From Rife? Oh. Listen, I gotta remember a lot of names. We got What's Captain up, Mad Max. We got our free diver Cole. From Wilmington, North Carolina, as seen on Blue Gabe last week. <laughs> of course, Blue Gabe and Chris. So myself, Chris, Cole, Blue Gabe, and CJ are going to be spearfishing some really big fish today, which you'll probably see it in the thumbnail. So I'm just gonna give you, I'm just gonna let you know right now. We're going for a bluefin tuna, but we can also see big yellowtail, which on our coast, our yellowtail, our yellowtail snapper. These yellowtail more resemble like an amberjack almost. So we could see some of those. We could see mahi. We could see this fish that I've been always wanting to see in my life, which is a moa moa. What do you call those? Mola mola. Mola mola. Looks like its tail got bit off. I know. I hope we see one of those. But I mean, the the amount of wildlife we could see is endless. If I see a sunfish, my whole entire trip will be made, and we're gonna be here for about nine nine days. So and we're you can see offshore. a really rare aircraft landing ship right there. Aircraft carrier, I should say. Well, I'll zoom in on my phone for you guys so you can see that. But y'all, the options are endless. Look at these big boy guns we're using. Look at these bands right here. That's one gun I probably will not be able to load by myself, but we're going for big fish. It's a little bit chilly on this coast as well. The sun's out, but there's a nice ocean cold breeze. We actually had to go get some tourist sweatpants last night. I'm covering it because it says where we are because Blue Gabe and I didn't bring any long pants. So we're going on about a 45 minute run. If we see a paddy or seagrass on the surface of the water, we're gonna jump in, warm up and see if there's any fish under it. Other than that, we're gonna be looking for schools of tuna, busting at the surface hopefully and jump in and shoot them. So y'all are along for the ride and we'll see y'all out there. with them. Open there. Where's Abram when we need him? <laughs> oh, Abram would be there. There they go. Gosh, huge pot of them. I mean, there's got to be at least 200 dolphins in that pod. <laughs> there's something right there. It's like a fin sticking out. What is it? A sea lion. A sea lion? Oh, look at him, he's rolling over. <laughs> when I was in Boston a couple years ago, a sea lion did the same trick to us. We thought it was like a dorsal fin of a great white shark, but it was actually a sea lion. Oh, it's a sea lion. Yeah. Shh. Don't scare him, he's in a little bit of kelp right now. I think he's spooking. I wonder how he would taste grilled. Oh, he was playing in the kelp. That's my first time seeing kelp, I think. Yeah. That, that's, my mind. that's like a small version of what a patty would look like. Okay. So over here, like yeah, in Florida, we look for like seaweed lines. Over here. That did look like a dorsal. Oh, he's still there. 
there's a bunch of kelp stacked up on top of the water and they'll call it patties. The sea lion is just hanging out on, over here. I would say that one we call it a stringer. I feel like he's so far from shore. Oh yeah, we'll be way offshore and then they'll just come in. Sea lions? Yeah. That's so cool. Dolphins and sea lions. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Where is it? Uh, oh, it's right here. Right here. Right, right here, here, right under the boat. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Hello. It's a baby whale, Jay. <laughs> it's a flounder. It's a baby whale. <laughs> Look at it, how I cool mean, it is. Oh my it's gosh. It's pretty accommodating. You may want to consider Yeah, you may want to jump in with that one. He's Seriously? He's big enough to where he, um, oh. and he's a nice color. <gasps> Oh my god. She'll freeze to death if she gets in now and has to run 20 miles. Look at the fin. Let me feel it. More backup to it. It's a little crispy. Yes, he's actually swimming towards the boat. Waving. Hello. Oh. I wish the water was warm right. If I jump in right now, it's I'll be too cold. And by the time I put my gear on, he'll probably be gone. Where's the underwater GoPro on the clam? That's right here. The one with the case. Perfect. Yeah, I got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> We've done this once or twice. I'm good. Yeah. Oh yeah. We usually use a gap or a stick. Where to go? On this side. On that side. Let's go front. Yeah. Hi. He's so big. That is so cool. Oh, the aquarium, Jay. <laughs> call the aquarium, Jay. Yo, we can make some money off that, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> that was the best I've heard yet. All right. Oh my God. They're they're a lot like lighter than I thought they'd be. Like really yeah. bright. Well, they come in different colors. That's yeah, all I was saying. This time, one. You may be able to this too. one's really, really light colored. Um, some of the other ones are a little darker gray. Um, this one looks really beautiful it's with a lot that of contrast. When you, go, when you go ride them too. <laughs> they're probably they're probably a lot faster than I think they are. Oh yeah. They they'll, they'll fully breach out of the water. They'll jump like clear out like ten feet. Wow. How cool is that? This one's albino. Dolphins, sea lions, sunfish within the first hour, not even of the trip. He's turning towards the boat. Oh, he's so cool. Wow. How awesome. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done this, but I've never ever put on this five mil wetsuit on before. I waited till you know I what? needed it's a, it's a I'll spot it. Don't worry. I don't think there's enough pizza to have to do it. Marks, get set, go! <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> I could have lubed my hair. That's what I should have lubed. <laughs> Lost in the hood. Here, try to pull. <laughs> there goes any hair she might have had. There you go. You gotta lube the hair. The hair was, it was stuck on my head and it wouldn't slide down. It's actually a perfect fit though. Alright. Chris and I are all geared up and there is a small patty out here on the surface with a couple sunfish on it. Are they babies or big ones? I didn't see them at all. Like teenagers. Teenagers. So we're gonna go check it out. Chris has a gun just in case anything swims up. I'm just going in for a swim. I feel like a flotation device.
This might be one top five best days of my life. That was the coolest thing ever. They're so cool looking. Wow. He's swimming back toward the boat, the, the Mola Mola. That's gonna be fun. Hopefully it hopefully it doesn't get it. Oh, there he is, right there. So Kelly's down right there, and the Mama Mo is right there. How neat's that? He's, he's going that way. How neat is that? That's so cool. I can't hear anything in a five mil hood. <laughs> Just pulled up and big patties full of mahi mahi. Listen, Are they swimming at the boat yet? Not yet, on the other side of the patty. I've been taking a real nice nap on the floor of this boat. That's called a deck. What were they feeding on, man? Hayden's here they come. Right on the lure. Oh, Doritos. Oh, the Doritos. That's a big one. There's a bunch. Babe, go get me something to make ceviche with. <laughs> I got you. Take, uh, take this gun with the slip tip. Yeah. That's right. Man, I just dried off. I'm nice and warm now. Yeah, yeah. Warm and dry. Is this, am I Babe, you, you should, yeah, go. Hold on with a second. He's gonna go, but... Beautiful California yellowtail. <laughs> That's dinner, Cap. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that parasite. Look at that parasite in the gills. Ew, what I'll is never that? seen anything like that. Yuck, it looks like an octopus. It looks like an alien. Ew. Whoa. Oh, I... I'm curious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
It was like an octopus looking thing. It was connected to a... A worm? A, yeah, there's a bigger thing on the inside of it. All right. As we're talking about eating that for dinner. Where are you from, Cole? Uh, <laughs> Wilmington, North Carolina. That is, is that your first yellowtail? Yes, sir. Awesome. A little huh? bigger than a rainbow runner. Let me get a picture of him. <laughs> I thought he said tail. Kelly's got one. She's got her first blue fin tuna. That buoy's just digging. Yeah, buddy. I didn't even like. I went to go put my arm straight out, but the fishes were moving, so I was yeah. just. You picked the perfect one. It literally went like this. <laughs> you picked the perfect one. All right, let's go swim over this way. Okay. Nice job. Thank you. <laughs> Big credit to Kelly. You don't you rarely see people do it on their second attempt. Out here every day, I almost never see that. Hey, guess what? Pressure's off now. That's when you start to the left to right. Guarantee that's how it is every time. Once you get one fish under their belt, it's not much easier. Yeah. Alright, so right now, just hang on right here to the back. Okay. Right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna get a second uh second float. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use that float to clip on it. You're gonna basically pull line, re-clip. Pull line and re-clip. Okay. I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you. We're gonna get that second flying float and we'll take care of it, okay? It's crazy because Kelly will swim with in like when the sharks, me and the guys are like, get out of the water, Kelly laughs at us. <laughs> it just everybody has their comfort zone. Yeah. I think she uh, she gets some good breathe up here, and she kind of works her mental her mental frustration down, and she's on it. She's making it happen. Oh, you, oh you're on? Yeah, on. Oh, we got two tuna on. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, I knew he said tail. I thought he said tail. I was like, I thought he said tail. Hey, hey, hey. We got two tuna Chris, on. Chris, no. I heard you too. I didn't know you, you were on. Babe. Chris. Chris. Good job. Chris. Chris. Don't baby it. Because it's either going to rip itself off or, or you're going to do it. Uh, Can I get a right gliding float for Kelly? Yep. I'll show you real quick. Here. Take, take her. You got to go. So what we do is we throw in a slightly smaller float with a little bit less PSI. Puts a little bit less pressure on the fish. Kind of gives them a chance to kind of work up without putting all that 25 psi three atmosphere float on there. When you're fighting these fish, you always want to you always want to swim forward, pull the pull the buoy, feed that line behind you. You can always swim up current. That way, when it runs again, you're not going to get tangled up. With these big fish like this, it's all about taking your time. If you got tangled in that rope and that fish went for a sudden burst to go down, you'd be going down with him.
got a good one. Look at that! Pick him up, babe, look! Your first bluefin! Probably you can't pick it up, it dunks her. Yeah. Nice job, Kelly. Thank you. Good shot. I tell you what, I aim for a die ball. <laughs> Got you a fatty. There we go. That's what we Got came to Kelly job. for. Nice. Heck yeah! Oh, Captain Mad Max. Nice fish. Snack them all. Hey, I'm proud of you. I have to uh, close my eyes when I dive down. I've learned. Because if I open my eyes when I dive down, I see all of them. If I close my eyes and dive down, when I open them, they're in front of me and then I can shoot it. <laughs> That's, That's one way to do it. That's... Yeah, I aim like right here on the fish. That's how much. Yeah, that's where I hit mine. You hurt your fish. Your fish wasn't going anywhere. That's actually a good shot. He didn't, he didn't even take the bungee or let the float, really. He wasn't fighting much. It must have been I, thought he, I thought he missed. Yeah. Got him. yeah. But can she deadlift him? There she there goes. There she goes. Get that awesome sideways shot. There it is. Boom! Here, there ain't me. very many women who speared a bluefin. I'm going to do this. Watch this. And that's gonna get a whole lot better. All right, one more time. Quick little dome <laughs> shot killed him. You've got Austin in the background I'll get modeling. Out of your face. <laughs> All right. All right, you ready? So, let me explain why we're doing this. Right here you ever catch your first yellowfin, your first bluefin, your first tuna? You have to take a bite of the heart. So, cheers, cheers. to me and Chris. Oh man. <laughs> there we go. How's it taste? I'm not even tasting it. It really doesn't taste like much. Uh-uh, nothing. Oh. It doesn't taste bad. It tastes like an unripe pear. And <laughs> done. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> and so let me tell you, this tastes better than the elephant heart I had to eat. This is way less irony. Yeah, this isn't bad at all. But but the, I'm not going to eat all of it. No, we're not. <laughs> but the bluefin did bleed out a lot in the water to where I like dropped the fish and couldn't see it anymore, so. All right, where is this one down right there? So I'm going to hold off on showing you guys my second bluefin tuna. The first day we all did technically limit out. We all got two bluefin tuna. And I have so much footage of this trip that I just don't want to put it all in one video. Right now, Finley, my puppy dog is running around the pool. Here, let me show you guys. Finley, come here, say hi to your fans. <laughs> but I want to give a huge shout out to Captain Mad Max. He's the charter we went on in San Diego, which I guess if you guys couldn't tell by now, um, in the beginning of the video, I did say, guess where we are? We're in San Diego, California. So if you made it to the end of the video 
if you guessed San Diego, California, you are correct. I mean, you all kind of know it was on the West Coast anyway. So huge shout out to Captain Mad Max out of San Diego, his first mate, Austin, and CJ for putting up the trip. I'll put CJ's information in the description below. He's kind of like the travel agent um, to set up spearfishing trips with Mad Max. Super professional. He was there whenever we needed him. Very informative and gave us a TED talk on how everything went down. I mean, going for bluefin tuna can be very intense. I wouldn't say it's for beginner spearfisher, spear fishermen or spearos, spearos, whatever you want to call us. Um, it's definitely a run and gun operation. And Captain Max, Austin and CJ ran it flawlessly. So thank you guys so much. If you guys want more information, I'll give you guys CJ's information in the link below. But right now this video is ending. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and we will see you guys on the next one. Right now, enjoy this California sunset. We got the drone in the air capturing the gorgeous west coast sunset out here on the balcony. Focus. There we go. And Gabe whipped up some dinner. Perfect night. Oh, that sunset is going to be beautiful.